Hello everyone, welcome to Scardia.com. My name is Dr. Saima Mushtaq and our today's topic of infectious medicine is protozoal infections of intestine. The first protozoa which we will discuss in our today's lecture will be the giardiasis and it is the infection caused by giardia lambia and we will discuss in detail the life cycle of Giardia, clinical manifestations of Giardia, how we treat this infection and also the different diagnostic tests used for the diagnosis of Giardiasis. Then the next uh, protozoa which we will be discussing will be the cryptosporidiosis. Actually, this is the infection. Osis is the condition of. So this is the condition caused by the cryptosporidium, which is the protozoa. So the infection caused by the cryptosporidium is cryptosporidiosis. So we will talk about cryptosporidiosis, how it infects the intestine, what's the pathophysiology, what's the uh, clinical manifestations of this uh, infection, how we diagnose and treat cryptosporidiosis. Next third uh, protozoa which we, we will be discussing or the infection which we will be discussing is the cystoisosporiasis. So cystoisosporiasis is caused by cystoisospora and again we will discuss in detail the uh, cycle, the uh, clinical manifestations, the diagnosis of uh, cystoisosporiasis and how we can treat this infection, what are the different drugs available to treat the infection, what are some differentiating point between cysto isosporiasis and cryptosporiasis, giardiasis. So all that we will be discussing in our lecture. Next uh, protozoa which we'll be discussing or the infection which we'll be discussing caused by the protozoa will be the cyclosporiasis. Again, we will talk about this uh, infection in detail. We will go over the manifestations, the mode of infection and how uh, it presents, what are the diagnosis and treatment options available for uh, cyclosporiasis. Next, we will talk about microsporidiosis and as the name shows, it's micro small spores in this case. All the other infections which we will discuss mostly you will see is by the transmission through the cyst. But in this case, microsporidiosis, the infection is by the ingestion or by the inhalation of the spores that then affect different uh, tissues and it is excreted in different um, uh, bodily secretions. So we will talk about microsporidiasis also, how it presents and how it is treated. Then the balantidiasis, which is the uh, balantidium coli. This is the protozoan that affects the cola, colon mainly, large intestine, and then we will discuss again in detail the mode of action, the clinical features, treatment, and the diagnosis of balantidiasis. Then blastocystosis, blastocystosis will be uh, discussed in detail in our lecture also. Diantamoebiasis, we will discuss about diantamoebiasis, mode of transmission, uh, how we acquire the infection, then presentation and the treatment of diantamoebiasis. And finally, and not the least, 
but the last we will talk about the trichomoniasis and this is the infection caused by trichomonas vaginalis and as the name show it is uh, uh, the sexual organs are involved in it the infection of the vagina the prostatic secretions urethra so it is uh, transferred from one individual to the other through the sexual contact so we will talk about the presentation and the management of trichomoniasis also We have other uh, lectures available on the website of uh, scardia.com so you can always access, access to those lectures uh, by visiting the scardia.com. Thanks for watching scardia.com.